Hello there, good morning, welcome back to my channel. This is Louise from Louise's Lifestyle. Thank you for joining me. So this morning we're having a quick look at some of my veggies. I've got my money maker tomatoes doing really well. I've had quite a few tomatoes off there and they're really tasty. Um, this is the okra, not doing very well at all. Um, so I doubt if I'll get any decent okra uh, to harvest off it. And over here we've got some of my chilies. This is a variety called Basket of Fire. I got this from RHS Bridgewater. Um, these are quite hot. Uh, they're a nice tasty chilli. Um, these are the jalapenos. These are a milder chilli. Uh, but nice, you know, um, if you are uh, adding them to salads, etc. This is a variety that I've grown from seed. It's a Zimbabwe bird's eye. And um, I've only just got it to start to flower and produce tiny fruit um this is a habanero called paper lantern i got this as a small plant and it's done really well it's a super hot very similar to a naga and they will turn red eventually so it's done really well to grow late in the year and uh, outside you know in the cooler manchester temperatures that we have and this variety is called Chenzo. I've got this as a small plant and it's covered in chilies, you know, little black chilies. They're not very hot, sort of a, a mildish chilli. And down there I've got the pothole or the pointed gourd. And next to it, I think this is my one and only Carolina Reaper. Uh, very slow to grow and I think I'll have to bring it indoors. It's only just started to flower now, but... I'll leave it out so it can be pollinated um, by the bees. And over here I've got um, a pepper. I've got a few peppers going on there. And down here I've got my aubergines. And this variety is called Black Bell Improved. And I've got these as small plants. And the slugs have had a go at this one. But I've actually managed to harvest quite a few uh, aubergines already and you know they were very tasty so you know I don't begrudge the slug having one <laughs> as long as it leaves the others alone and these uh, are my Bangladeshi aubergines I've grown from seed uh, granted I started them off very late that's why they're only just starting to produce these are the long thin variety so I'm really pleased that I've managed to get them to uh, fruit this late in the year probably have to put them in the greenhouse at some point uh, if I want to get more fruits off them uh, it is starting to get a bit cooler in the mornings now and um, this is the wraith chili you can see it's actually covered in flowers and um, only just started to produce another one grown from seed uh, this was a super hot chili that was sent to me last year uh, as a, an actual chili that I tasted from a friend of mine called Susan who grows um, Bangladeshi vegetables and chilies and stuff. So that's grown from seed and it's doing really well. So uh, again, all very late in the year, unfortunately, but hopefully uh, not too late to get some chilies off them. Uh, just a quick nip over here to my grapevine. So I've got grapevine there with some grapes and the figs. Uh, not huge you know and i don't know whether these are gonna um ripen and whether i'll able be able to taste one of these fruits who knows but anyway thanks very much for watching take care everyone bye bye